Look at these little rafts here, look. Where are you selling time? What can we find in here? So I've heard this place is where the bubble wrap is at. Right then, you beautiful, beautiful people. We are back with a sales video. Um, there's a lot going out. I've had some sales on Vinted, £185 I think over the last two days and probably about £100 on eBay in the last two days. <sighs> I'll just get through it as quick as we can, it's going to take a while. I need to find everything first. Just, bef just before I find everything actually, I found this. On its feet it says, if it focuses, 1986, the Walt Disney Company, Bully. Probably worth some pennies, but yeah. And also one massive bubble wrap. About time picked up a big one. Not the biggest one I can get for 12 quid. Better than running around every day looking for it. Right, so there's six eBay orders going out. Let's run through it and order them sold. Sold the second Vivian Westwood empty jewelry box. It's got a little bag of stuff in there for a gift. That went for eight pounds plus the postage. Bear in mind, didn't cost me anything. I bought her the earrings. She's using the earrings to sell the box. So I think the earrings cost me like 75 quid for a birthday last year. And I sold both the boxes for like, together, about 20 quid. So, knocks the earrings down to 55 pound, doesn't it? So, these are yeah, so the box for eight pound plus the postage. Mickey Mouse we picked up for two pound about a month ago um, in a charity shop. He sold for 19.99 because he's apparently vintage. Does say Disney made in China on his foot, so it's a every day of the week. A great sale for me because I've had this on my shelf for about six months. It cost me a pound ages ago at a car boot, it just never sold. And then somebody bought it for 19.99 full price, but it was up for like 40 quid, 30 quid. The 19.99 then they just left it, and eventually someone's picked it up. So a pound and six months later, I made 20 quid on it, plus the five pound postage. These Clark shoes. Not the best condition, uh, size eight and a half. They are nice at the top though. But I must the buyer's seen the pictures, they've definitely took pictures of the bottom. So 15 quid plus the postage, so like that. Then yesterday we had a sale go through. That pillow thing I got for two pounds, I said they'd sell for a tenner, which has gone for 9.99 plus the shipping. And then obviously we don't want to stick around long. We paid ten pounds to them there for this Tommy Hilfiger bag. We sold it today, or this, well, last night for forty pound plus five pounds something shipping, I believe. So we can't compare that. That's the eBay orders done. Let's get them wrapped. Got all that stuck there. Just cleared all this the best I could. <sighs> I need that shed to come ASAP. It's too much crap in it. Mm. People on here who are watching the video, start buying some stuff. I'll do it on the cheap, anything you want. Help me out, support me. Let me get rid of all this crap. <sighs> like that, I still can't believe that's not bad. Got some elite shoes there if you want. What's it? Two reasons why every time you go shopping, make sure you get some carrier bags. Because sometimes items don't fit in bags, so you put them in a carrier bag. Right, that's eBay sales done, and I've already wrapped one of the every sales for Vinted, because I forgot, which is that busy book if you watched the other day video, the other day's video, and that vibrating walking rabbit thing. 15 quid for both of them. I've already wrapped up. Happy days. Now, we have got a bundle for 170 quid to our good old mate Jess and Dave. However, I need to find them first, so bear with me. I'm going to do this on the floor because it's easier. So for Jess and David's bundle, they've got a portable DVD player, a pair of boots, two Adidas bags, both PlayStation 2s with one, two, three controllers, a couple of games. Um, there is some more controllers somewhere, so I'm going to have to find them. Uh, ones that didn't come with a bundle, but I'm going to give them anyway because they won't sell. There's their Xbox though, but they are somewhere. And the wallpaper, but the wallpaper, I can't seem to fit in a flipping box. But I will. I will, somehow. If not, just trust me enough, I'll, I'll send it to her somehow, somehow. But yeah, let's get this wrapped. It's going to take a while. Also sending you this, because I don't want it. 
got my own employee, look. Oh, shit. Mm. Come on, choppity chop chop. Box is somehow doubled. Um, and then can't fit the wallpaper in. So I'm going to send the wallpaper in with a different order. Cheers, though, Jess. Right, I've just been rummaging round all this bags here, all this stuff here, all this stuff here, because they had two more sales while I was wrapping this stuff up, eBay sales. Went through everything, it turned out in the end, there was the last thing I checked was in there, that's where one of them was. Also, if you can also if you can see here, I've got one, two, three, four, or well, three Arsenal shirts and an Arsenal jacket out of that bag there, that are decent enough to sell, the rest of them have got marks on them. And then this pair of old season extra large shorts. Now, these are just sold on eBay for 20 quid. Not 19.99, 20 plus the shipping. I'll take that. And then this one I've been looking for for ages, this Argos portable DVD player. It's also just sold for 19.99. This is what I'm likely to see. Portable DVD players. You know what I do with them. I sell them all the time. All day, every day. What we'll do with these players. I used to anyway. And then, Arsenal shorts. I need, to, I've got too many Arsenal stuff. I'm keeping the ones that mean something, but like these, these shorts, that often even cost me 20 quid at the time. Do you know what I mean? So it's money back. Yeah, let's get them wrapped. Mate, I'm wrapping these. Just looked on the, my phone, in my house, it's 27 degrees. Going on, no heating on nothing, man. I'm sweating my. You know what I mean? Crazy. But while I'm doing this, I've got a little something to say, which is I get a lot of views, or a lot more views, should I say, on my car boot videos where I'm going around picking stuff up than I do on the sales videos. Now, if you're a reseller, I get it. If you, but if you're learning to resell, so if you are a beginner, if you are a beginner reseller and you're looking to figure out what sells and stuff like that, whatever else, and you think, oh, I like the car boot videos, the car boot videos will not help you. For example, when I first started out, I see him, oh, he picked up, I'll pick one of them up for a tenner because he sold it, he, he said it was worth this much, but it never sells. And then you're taking it back to the car boot and losing money on it. So the sale videos you want to watch because that's where they're showing you how much they've got for it and telling you how much they've got for it. So they're the things that do sell. So when you're at the car, that's what you pick up. Just a little rant there. Yeah, I forgot about this one. Got this one given to us for free outside a charity shop. Don't know why, but definitely a fiver in it. She saw us with Alvin. She says, oh, do you want a baby one? Fiver? Well, I'm not selling it to me either. It's the best feeling in the world is when you've got Two bags full to take to my office. Yeah, boy. All parcels taken. Now it's time for McDonald's. Oh. It's kicking off. Go McDonald's. Mackie's. Get me out of that car. You can play in Mackie's. Are you friends? Yeah. Kez. Kez. I'll leave my friends for my bits. Two pigs are okay. playing in there. Hey, baby. On there, look. Draw on here. He's gonna, eat, he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. Is he gonna eat it? Yeah. Yep. Going for a burger. Who would have thought it? Three boxes at McDonald's. Get in there. I can't hear you. You ready? Where is she? Hey, Ruby. Right, for all them people who want to start reselling who are watching this video, you might have seen over the weekend, yeah, I've had like £400 in sales. That's just in profit without postage labels. Hang on, let me show this window. Without postage labels and stuff. And they're thinking, oh, I want to get reselling. But there's a bad side to it. Just got home, received a return request for 19 99 which was a lava lamp. It's not the end of the world at all. But they'll message you and they'll say things like, oh, it's not the right lava lamp. It says glitter lava lamp or whatever on the thing. But she said it was short one of them drippy ones or whatever. So yeah, no worries, mate. Return. Then when she returns 
it, it comes up and says the reason to eBay why just didn't like it. Well, I'm sorry you just didn't like it. Got to buy it then. But you've got to be nice about it. Yeah, no worries, I'll send it back. But that's the bad side of things. Anyway, I was at my mum's. Uh, talked to my old man about the shed when it comes on Saturday. He's going to build me a bench in it. Uh, got some cabinet drawers, like proper like office cabinet drawers that I'm going to take off him for free. And yeah, we have sold that Xbox Connect thing. Come through when I was out. For £8.50 plus the postage. I paid a five for it. It's been sat there for ages. I want to get it gone because it's bad crap. And then we sold... I don't know where they are, actually. Then rolled out books. The box that I got for £6. I sold it for £25. Quid. I had to cancel the order because I didn't pay for it. And then somebody else has bought it for £25. Quid, but still hasn't paid for it. So we have to wait and see. But shed come Saturday. Get in there. I think you're supposed to push it, mate. Go on. Anyone want to buy a box full of kids' toys that no one seems to play with? Just found these Crocs that I forgot to list. So I'll get them listed on eBay. Beautiful. There's that Burberry fake bag. Let's take up, hang on. And that's what Vinted banned me over. This fake Burberry bag. Oh, shoes there. No shoes here. Oh, what do I need to do? I haven't listed this yet. It's not worth anything. Anyone want it? Hit me up, I'll put it on Vinted for you. I think it cost me like three quid. Still haven't even got them to jack. Need to, soon. Needs to be up. I'm fine with this guy. I didn't know that this is actually a Bluetooth speaker. It's mint, isn't it? So it plays music and barks when the music stops. I'm just eating this if anyone's wondering about noises in the background. But yeah, if anyone wants to help me out, I'm more than welcome to buy something, I'll do a deal for you. It's all on eBay though, so if you wouldn't mind going across to my shop having a look. Got a couple of boxes down there, new ones. Yeah, but well, that's gonna be me anyway, till tomorrow. So leave a like, subscribe if you know, make sure you follow the second channel for the vlogs. I'll see you all next time. Peace.